What's up everyone, Rob from EMTB Forums. I am just about to fit a shorter crank arm. The standard Praxis crank length is 165 millimeters. I do get a fair amount of pedal strikes with these. My technique is improving, so I'm getting less and less, but I did damage one a couple of weeks ago on a ride and it can't be repaired so they need to be replaced so I thought instead of getting exactly the same crank arms again I would try something a little bit shorter. So I have gone for these, they're by a company called Miranda, they are 152, they do do various different lengths. I went for the 152s which is 13 millimeters shorter than what you'll get on the Levo, a standard. They're a little bit lighter, in total around 140 grams lighter. It's not a huge amount, but every little helps. It's the nicest mount that you get, so slightly different to the standard um, bolt. This is a self-extracting bolt that you get on. These aren't self-extracting, so you do need to make sure you do need to order um, some bolts. Now these are standard 21 millimeter ISIS crank bolts. Now you don't get them with these, or I didn't, where I ordered them from. I will put the link in the description so you can see where I got them from. They were 60 pounds. The bolts are about five quid, nothing too expensive. These are pretty straightforward. The self-extracting nut, you just need to give it a bit of, bit of a push. It does kind of get really tight, but you need to carry on going and it will undo with just an eight millimeter hex key so i've loosened that slightly and i'm going to pop this one on and go for a little burn and see what it's like so just to take the originals off it's going to be an eight millimeter bolt you will need to probably take it off of a stand because they are quite tight but i've already loosened this there we go praxis 165 millimeter off just to compare and then I've already popped a little bit of grease in there to help it on. A bit of grease on here. I'm just gonna nip it up with this and then I'm gonna use my torque wrench and I'm gonna tighten it to 45 Newton meters of torque. All right, it's on. I just need to torque it up when it's off the stand. 152 mil, just gonna give it a burn and see what it feels like. There you go, look, Miranda 152 millimeters. These are the QF16. Now, just one thing to mention, it does increase the Q factor slightly. Now, when I measured here, the gap in between the chainstay and the uh, end of the crank arm, the inner side of the crank arm just in there, on the stock one, this is five millimeters each side wider. So you're gaining about one centimetre in Q factor. Now the Q factor is the distance between the crank arms essentially. You are increasing that, that's just one thing to consider. So these are a QF16 Miranda imported into the UK by a company called Dill Glove. And there's a gentleman called Brian there. If you're in the UK or probably even outside of the UK, you can get these shipped to you. Brian will know if you tell him that you've seen Rob from EMTB forums, he's got the Miranda cranks on, you want the same. He will know exactly what you're talking about and he'll be able to get you these exact cranks. So I'm gonna have a quick blast. I mean, it's a very unscientific test. I'm just gonna try and ride around over these kind of, you see these like rooty sections just here and see what happens really, see if I get any kind of pedal strikes or any kind of interference. And, and what I'll also do is just give you my opinion on what it feels like. Does it feel any different to pedal? Does it feel just really unusual? Can I notice a difference in the width in between them? Or is it just, 
you know, you can barely even notice it other than you get far less pedal strike. So that's what I want to do. Going to go for a blast just around here, down these little kind of rooty trails. This is pretty steep here. So we'll have a little blast down there. Let's run down. There you go. Really steep. And then what we got over here, a few stumpy sections, a bit of a steep section down there, all the way down there. Look at that. That is really steep. It's got a little rut down there, look, you see it? That's steep, isn't it? Really steep. Got to give it a go, haven't you? Got to see what happens. Why move this? Little bad boy. Ugh. Ugh, it's how steep this is. Got to climb up it. I reckon I can go down it. Now this isn't going to be a test for the pedal strike, but I want to get down there and then have a little burn around. Oh man, it feels good. I tell you, this is steep. Hooray! I've been really worried about that Q factor difference. You can feel them rotating slightly, slightly more. But do you know what? If I didn't know that these were different cranks, I wouldn't think anything of it. I wouldn't have picked up this bike if someone had broken into my house overnight, swapped the cranks over, that would have been very nice, but I don't think that I would notice. Try and get up here. This is steep as... Oh! No, too steep. That is dusty. Go on, go on, Levi. Yeah, boy. I tell a lie, you can feel a small amount of difference. Might just be because I'm thinking about it. I'm just going to ride around here, try and do my best to actually get a pedal strike. You see it right at the beginning. Go to the Pedal Heaven group ride. I'll put another link up there. Watch right at the very beginning. I freeze framed it. I get a pedal strike. I go over the bars and that really hurt that one. I know a lot of it is down to technique, but I'm going to put some of it down to the bottom bracket on these bikes. They need to keep a center of gravity as low as they can. And you are more prone. I don't care what anyone says. I've had way more pedal strikes on my e-bikes than I have riding my stump jumper, my giant anthem, my Scott, all the mountain bikes I've had over the past. So yes, some of it is down to technique and learning to ride a e-mountain bike the technique is different not huge but you just need to be conscious of things these shorter cranks hopefully will come standard as far as i can tell i know i'm just blapping around this little part of this little woods there is no downside i can't think of any reason why you wouldn't why wouldn't you i don't think you need that extra leverage that you get from having a longer crank arm because you've got a motor. You don't need that extra leverage, do you? A hundred percent worthwhile. A hundred percent. Buy them. Call Brian at Deal Glove. I have no affiliation with them. Like I always say, I'm not sponsored. I'm not paid other than by you legends and Patreon who have kindly, kindly supported me. Um, I have no affiliation with Dill Glove or Miranda. All I want to do is get everyone a better experience on their mountain bikes. That's my goal. If me testing these and being a guinea pig on a Turbo Levo helps, then amazing. My job is done because my mission is to get more people on electric mountain bikes and get more people enjoying outside. Mountain biking is fun, e-power. No pedal strikes on here. Ha <laughs> ha You can take really tight angles as well. The short crank helps the rotation become a little bit easier and not as cumbersome maybe. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Love it! <laughs> Such good fun man. So good. So just falling around here it's been brilliant. The Miranda's 152s no downsides whatsoever no downsides at all slight increase in cadence but that doesn't bother me in the slightest Whee! nice i want to try just a kind of high speed test see if it feels much different so i'm just going to cruise just around here I'm going to get up the top of this hill. I'm going to blast it down the other side, see if it feels much different with the shorter crank. I don't think it will because even cycling up here at this pace in turbo, Kiwi in Wales on the forum was pretty much a pioneer of these shorter cranks. And he told me that he's given people a go and not mentioned anything on his Levo. No one says anything. So here we go. 
high speed test spinning and I've got no assistance over the limit absolute spinning now this way I'd need a bigger front chain ring did that bother me? not in the slightest how often do you spin out like that on trails? these little fire roads are the roads that you use to get to the trails nice I think the benefits of having a shorter crank far far outweigh the negatives the benefit is you get far less pedal strike I'm 13 millimeters less than what you get on standard that 13 millimeters is gonna make a bit of difference on those close shaves that you have with roots and rocks and uh, little ruts and things you know little kind of carvings in the in the trail so get a thumbs up from me a definite thumbs up they are well well worth your money I mean I really really tried to scrape those pedals I tried my damnedest to get pedal strikes I might have slithered something somewhere but I was really really trying to get that pedal down and hit something the cons are that you've got a shorter length you probably end up spinning it a little bit faster your cadence is who cares though I mean you've got a motor the benefits of a longer crank arm are that you've got more leverage and you can potentially spin your crank faster who cares you've got a motor on your bike it doesn't matter so for me the pros of having a shorter crank arm far far outweigh any negative that you might have I mean I'm saving like you know 13 millimeters which isn't massive but that makes all the difference if you think that that might be the difference between you having an epic flowy trail or falling off your bike and I believe me I've been there I've fallen off many times through pedal strikes I hate it and yes yeah, some of it's down to technique but if some of it can be reduced just by fitting some short cranks then why wouldn't you I mean it's a no-brainer for me so they do do them in all kinds of different sizes between I think 150 and, and 165 170 I've gone for 152s I played it a bit safe you can go for 150 some people have gone even lower with shorter cranks I just want to give a big shout out to one of the forum members Kiwi in Wales because he's been the pioneer of all of this really he's been testing out shorter cranks and we've all been kind of reading about it and he's been waxing lyrical about all the benefits so all of this really is down to him and his research I've just filmed it and published it on YouTube but you can benefit from this too get some shorter cranks for your e-bike you don't need some long length monsters on there and you will get all the benefits no more or very very little pedal strikes and you've got your motor to keep your cadence going and you're gonna you're gonna love it so yeah I really 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 recommend it